All right, I want to welcome you here tonight. You are in for a very special evening. And I can say that because we had one last night, so I know for sure you're going to enjoy being here. A few housekeeping details. First, in case of an emergency, heaven for fun, you can go out the way you came in, there's another exit out that way. Restrooms are that way. Please silence all noise-making devices, including cell phones. There is no flash photography or recording allowed. You're already being recorded, so uh, those will uh, become available in a few weeks. There is no intermission. We're going straight through. But after the program, Rajni will be selling books of his wonderful poetry in the back, and I also, or maybe the front if you think of it in terms of the building, and um, I will also have a CD that's for sale. I also need to say that we are on the unceded land of the people of the Dawn, the Wabanaki Confederacy, known here in Vermont as the Abenaki, who have been loyal, faithful stewards of the land for thousands of years. I honor that stewardship, and my hope is that we can all use that as a model in how we treat the earth that we live on. The original impetus for this program was quite simple. I wanted to give some of my recent solo works a chance to be heard in public. But the project soon took on a deeper meaning because of the thread that ran through all the pieces. And that thread was the influence of African American culture, specifically blues and jazz, on my music. Now this influence had showed up in pieces going back close to 25 years, but none more so than in the works you're going to hear tonight. I've done my best to honor that cultural heritage, as I do with every tradition that has somehow found its way into my music. The first three works on the program were written during the spring of 2020, during the worst of the pandemic, when the only way that musicians could perform was to put on miniature solo recitals on YouTube or Facebook. So I wrote these pieces to give some of my friends an opportunity um, to have something to play immediately. But this period was also a time of intense racial reckoning. And the dedications of these works reflect that. One of the wonderful things about being a composer is that once the music leaves my hand, so to speak, I have no control over how it is perceived, either by musicians or by listeners. So whatever you hear tonight is yours. But please know that my aim has always been to use my art, my voice, to try to make the world a better place through music. I hope you enjoy the concert. Ode to Frida Josephine McDonald. Frida Josephine McDonald. Did you know as a child your star would rise to carry you far beyond St. Louis, Missouri skies? Sweet Tumpty, old black Venus, sister from another planet too big for one country to hold. So she let her brown feet travel the globe, littering each land with gold. Creole goddess, they called you, Nefertiti of today, but truly you are a deity. Outlining 
and outshining the confines of your times. Mother of the Rainbow Tribe, coloring outside the lines. Josephine, 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 may your name be an incantation, a call to patron saints whose truth too tall to fall. Let us honor you, pay homage to you, that courage you have brought. Black pearl, living jewels set to adorn the world. Your heart burned brighter than the flames you saw that night. Eleven years old, right? Watching the flickering light eat the homes of black folks now in flight. Oh, what a sight. What a terrible fright. But this was not to be your ending plight. Oh, the universe had other things in mind for this diva divine, reclaiming her body, far cry from the cruelty of white mistresses, crossing distances with a mythic grace and fearlessness. She said, the white imagination is sure something when it comes to blacks. Facts. Her dying savage more civilized than those with wayward eyes could brand her as. She toyed with the white imaginary, lived her own fantasy beyond the reach of adversaries. Now ain't that something for a colored girl who started out shuffling on cardboard on the street to make the leap to world renown with dancing feet, not to mention crossing trenches, what a feat, delivered intel on sheet music with invisible ink. She said, surely the day will come when color means nothing more than the skin tone, when religion is seen uniquely as a way to speak one's soul, when birthplaces have the weight of a throw of the dice, and all men are born free, when understanding breeds love and brotherhood. Josephine, Josephine, what a brave champion for love. You would not sing, unless we all could come. I see you standing, voice lifting victories the world has yet to sing in unison. Bright bouquet of light in your smile. Dance carrying the dust of all lands to one earth, so richly ours. Feet trailing horizon. A new day break, we ache to be our namesake.
How long? Not long. You know, freedom knows no bounds. I saw, I saw that chainless child singing itself out the throats of a people all but had song beat out them. This is not a mournful song. This is not where the dirge is played or where graves are laid bare while people clutch their handkerchiefs solemnly and stare. This is about beautiful things. Too big to be tarnished by paltry onlookers whose calcified consciences make love and service to justice and peace seem a performance. This is a serenade lifting, veils, lifting all who take to the tomb, to the wind. This is a wail of yes laws, a flood of that's rights set to men broken bones, a pot of uninterrupted lullabies for those who barely have had time to catch their own breath. This be open doorways for those for whom it's open season, bright burgeoning blue black halo beams, born in a spirit of defiant love to charter carnage and survive. Self-love and self-respect, reverence for life, bright glorious smile, audacity to keep curiosity and innocence with hope for the future still intact. You know, beautiful things. This is about beautiful things. Your heart unmasked, the liberation from the grotesque nature of your silence, valiance without an audience, honesty when it costs something, relief from the ceaseless lifetimes of walking the blade of someone else's morbid imagination. This is the incantations on your infant's tongue, singing to the universe on honey breath that knows no fear, hands clasped in prayer, the space between, our hands grasped there, no space between. This is, brothers gonna work it out, Brothers gonna work it out. Ascending on the wings of to be young, gifted, and black. Oh, what a lovely, precious dream. To be young, gifted, and black. Open your hearts to what I mean. It's unapologetic belief that in the deepest inner reaches of oneself, that more is possible. It's black, and it's everything. Sam Cooke musing on his origin story by that river. It's the river in you, you never knew was flowing. It's the head nod and the fist bump in the absence of being named. It's that one meeting of the eyes that says everything's words came. It's what is when what is ain't. It's a picture hate can't paint. An elixir that is a mixture sets the line between hates and saints. This is an old Tanina introducing sunrise. This is the moment the unborn become worthy of sacrifice. The realization we always were. Homage to ancestors who remembered futures so we could weave stories from the past into our present seamlessly. Shoulders we stand on, bodies as shields, arms as comforters, no weapons can defeat. A quilt of ever giving generosity, sowing itself into the seed of us.
if they see her ravaged beauty as their own and dare not look away. Will 12 million dollars fill the gaping chasm in her family's hearts? Will they replace the laughter of her unborn children? The continued line and legacy she will never bear? What are the milestones she will never see? The home she'll never own for being home and black and as they said, a victim of the officer's extreme indifference to human life. What of her smile, the care of her hands, the dreams she was stolen from, sitting sharply, painfully unfulfilled? And how many times must we pay? Must we be re-traumatized, wounded and subject to watch, wrapped, by our own syndicated violence. All while the world looks on in pity, contempt, rehearses its practiced responses to arrive close enough to the appearance of a conscience. Periodic and strained, routine, are not at all, but for one brief moment, all around the world, it wasn't. And what if Brianna is listening? And she is, watching you and me as I recite this poem. And she is. She can tell the difference between empty words, pained expressions, sense what's underneath it all. And she stays with you now walking you home for a lifetime. When you rise tomorrow, she will be there, at the foot of your bed, at the breakfast table. When you look into the rear view mirror, you will see her beautiful face, eyes piercing your silence, daring you to speak her name aloud. As you walk, you will find her shadow has lengthened your own. What do you think these collages of death have done to the children? Bodies falling, bullets falling, countless as leaves. For us, every season is autumn. Mask or no mask, we are feared. For us, every day is Halloween. Our deaths are the world's candy, but no one will admit it. But they can't hide their sweet tooth from the children. You can only see so many hashtags, coded symbolism for murder before it starts to take. You can only live on a land where they burned people and sent each other pieces, but so long before pretending becomes second nature. But Brianna, she is watching. She can see what is feigned and when the pain is real.
Thank you. 
Living Gospel. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, oh yeah. The soul stir, melodious rhythms divine that brought so many spirits to the riverside. A prayer to the almighty God who's been with us since he separated the waters found our features, swimming amongst the faces of the deep. 
blew life into the nostrils, made of earth and clay our terrestrial forms, adorned these feet of clay with wings to spring new freedoms born. Can you hear it? That. That soulful hum, welling up from below the feet, soil deep. Them notes rung from lung and sung to steal away to Jesus. Crooning tunes, blooming out the grace of God. Carrying secret codes to divine meetings that save your soul. Join me in the upper room. Meet me in the secret place, past the sinner's crossroads. I'll be singing up there on the battlefield where we'll understand it by and by. You must be born again before you die. Got to find me a hiding place to hold on to God's unchanging hand because there is trouble all over this land. Something got a hold on me. I need somewhere to lay my head. If you see my Savior, tell him my heart says yes. I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Please don't let me be misunderstood. Jesus gave me water, and I'm going to go and tell it on the mountain. Ain't it fine how the spirit poured, spilled over like wine, sustaining children for lifetimes? How else do you think we got over? There is a heart-wrenching cord carrying Africa, bridging to new lands all the while calling on the Lord. You can see the oral tradition ascending, heavy hearts to light-filled glories, opening portals to boundless stories, where the sound is quarry, and he's my rock. These are songs strung together from the looms of the illumined ones, dim that was bringing light to dark. These is pools of rainbows we drunk from when the storms wouldn't stop. We brought jubilee out our voices, no whip crack could reach. Our tongues undulating into the heavens gave wings to running feet. No chains could reach such that the earth would know the heavens in our speech. Sang of a grief that only those can know who children been sold. And how you make a diamond under pressure or dancing on hot coals. See, this ain't for the faint at heart. This is for those who run, run, run for freedom and faint not carving impressions in deep ravines so you remember what the route is to this water. Let this drinking gourd make you an open vessel.
The time is always now. You, we, are being called on to improvise. Though there is room to sow, we need unity in your progression. You see, the world is on fire, and only love of substance will even let you breathe through the flame. I need your good hands, your open heart, the broken pieces too. Put them in this music, nurse your wounds, and don't pretend to dance in front of me. There are babies barefoot in the streets, folk who watching their loved ones bleed out have no use for high balloon activities, and why I dismay to meet a quota. This is to those who've been doing it, seen and unseen. The work before it was called the work. Harriet Tubman taking spiritual breaks, cause she had to. Downloaded cosmic schematics on that underground railroad to not be railroaded. James Baldwin typing symphonies, speaking multi-layered quilts, generations unborn will wear as warm to persevere through every storm. For them that know the norm will not suffice, especially acquiescence to ceaseless war and stolen rights. Even my daughter talks about those many hands, seen and unseen, behind the scenes, making clips and writing scripts to change what's on that screen. These footprints been planting seeds, sowing creeds with traction, so that all may reap in deeds, indeed. Let's give them, us, our flowers, here and now and ever onward. There are champions standing in the fray still, and they deserve their flowers, cause life and breath ain't promised. So while there is spirit in this flesh, go on and make yourself useful. Stay attuned to the ones who do so, who pour their liquid hope on blistering, cracking lips, breathe life into possibilities, long left abandoned. Yes, this too was for my mother, and my great-grandmother, and my auntie, nurturing movements when no one is looking, saying the hard things with love and courage and belief in right for right's sake, as backbone. Yes, place your bushels of roses here. Line up your lilies and lilacs and spread down this corridor out the door. Don't be afraid to block traffic with them African violets and stretch your tulips, daffodils, dandelions, and orchids of every shade from here down to the Everglades. Now is not the time to rest on our laurels. We need to make room for this world-sized garden. It's too well deserved to go unplanted. And you, yes you, I need you to add your voice to this poem, to put your back into this mountain-moving operation, like you believe it's possible, to find water in a desert and to be that water. Either we flood together Emerge these drops until the world does. Whatever comes first, just don't stop calling on, pouring praise upon these black prophetic fire bringers. We make freedom a real word and a genuine aim. Who else put all their blood into that name? With character too high and deep for fear or shame. These shining suns and two full moons of ever-living truth been given sway to light your day with beams and rays. They shall never be eclipsed, nor ever wane. Thank mm -hmm. you.
I've been asked to say a few words here at the end, and it's because it's my fault that I have to get up again. And the reason is, I've known Dan Liptak since he was in high school, and he has played pieces of mine on tenor saxophone, on bass clarinet, and on B-flat clarinet. And I had the brilliant idea of thinking, well, here he is in this piece that they're all going to be playing. Why shouldn't I ask him to play all three? <laughs> and I thought, well, that's a wonderful idea. And in theory, it is. But people don't play instruments in theory, they play them in reality. And so, one of the things that has been difficult for everybody playing tonight has been they have to sit for a long time and then they have to get up and they have to play. I used to have to do that as a singer in church, often having a solo after the sermon and I had to get up and sing cold, as we say, and these musicians have had to do the same thing. So they've been magnificent, but I'm up here filling time so that Dan can get his instruments completely warmed up because he has not one, not two, but three of them to deal with. So, in any case, he's still at it. So, I will remind, I will mention one other thing that I forgot to say. That there is, in fact, a mistake in your program that um, in the write-up for Elegy, I listed Brianna Taylor's residence as Memphis, Tennessee, but in fact, it's in, it was in Louisville, Kentucky, so I'm, my apologies for that. So now you can hear Dan playing on the first instrument that he will be using, which is a bass clarinet, and then partway through the piece, he will be switching over to tenor saxophone, and then finally to B-flat clarinet. And, uh, it's uh, some, an interesting combination, and I just decided it would be fun to try them all, so. They're almost ready, so you only have to put up with me a little bit longer while we wait here. Um, so, I think we're good. <laughs> aren't you lucky I'm stopping now? <laughs> Thank you. 